Hello, everybody, and welcome back. So, in our last episode, we were doing some significant work on our lovely little uh, jungle-ish uh, house here. So, I think that's what we're going to continue on and hopefully get that finished today in today's episode. So, need to uh, figure out a little bit about the roofs, but um, I have an idea for that. Anyways, we've been threatening to uh, work on the floor, so I think we'll start that and have a look and see how it looks. Um, so, so what I'm planning to do is use stripped jungle logs in an alternating pattern, which I've done this before on uh, on floors. It's uh, <laughs> it feels kind of expensive, but it's actually it, I think it looks really nice. So you let me know in the comment section if you uh, think it looks good or bad. All right. So, anyways. Um, yeah, I think I like it. So uh, what I'll do is I'll continue this pattern throughout the whole floor, and uh, let's see how it looks when it's done. All right, just a few finishing touches, and pretty much there we have it. It's a floor. Okay, now for the section here. Now, hmm, I was starting to use some uh, some oak logs the similar way that we used for the jungle logs, but I'm not so sure that I want it like that. I think I might want to continue the jungle floor all the way up there and uh, possibly have just some sort of, um, you know, slabs like this that lead up to it. So, let's clear this out first. Now, the the roof is just going to be basically made up of um of jungle stairs and uh I think it'll look okay, but uh we'll have to have to wait and see how that turns out. I'm pretty confident it'll be all right though. So, let's uh let's do our pattern here again as well and see. Now, it is kind of tedious doing this, but I think the reward is well worth it because at the end of the day, when you're done looking at it, that crisscross pattern on the floor has a nice texture to it, and uh, I, I enjoy how it looks. But, you know, that's my personal preference. So once we finish building this house, uh, then I'm going to concentrate on going down into the bowels of the Minecraft Earth to uh, try and do some mining. I think it's uh, it's overdue for me to do a proper mining session. I mean, kind of low on, well, diamonds for starters and, and other things as well. Um, now, the other thing I need to do at some point, and I'll probably do it off camera, is I'll build a, uh, I'll build another, whoops, I'll build a, uh, another portal here and make it link up with my nether portal at the starter base. So that way I can have an easier way to travel back and forth, because let's just face it, Traveling here by horse was, uh, it was a lot of work. <laughs> there were a lot of things to dodge, a lot of trees to go around and, and that sort of thing. So um, at some point later as well, I'm going to just basically make a path. So now I'm going to have to build up uh, the hill a little bit here so that at least I can get in and out of my entrance. I'm going to leave it down one notch because I think zombies aren't smart enough to jump up if there's a, a door there. So... I don't really want them to come knocking very badly. Now, it just occurred to me that uh, in order to be able to put windows in this building, I'm going to have to smelt some glass. So uh, what I'll do is I'll go off camera for a bit, collect some glass, raw glass, i.e. sand, uh, from uh, underwater down there, and uh, we'll be back when I've got something ready to use. Okay, the window installation crew has arrived. So, uh, let's see. Um, if I had planned this out properly, I would have made sure that my uh, my wall was a proper, you know, <laughs> odd number of uh, blocks wide so I could make sure the windows were the same size. However, sometimes it's nice to have them a little bit different as well. So, uh, maybe, so it looks like the, uh, the center one will be three wide and the other ones will be four wide. So... <clears throat> Let's uh, get some glass in here and see what that looks like. However, I think I'm going to use glass panes. I'm not going to use uh, glass blocks for this. 
First of all, they go a lot longer if you do that. And second of all, I think it looks nice because it once again adds a bit of depth because the glass panes are inset from the top, right? So let's fill that in. And then uh, we'll make sure there's windows on every side so that we can look out of our house. And I'm also thinking that this house will probably end up having a second floor. Uh, which is cool, but it just means that um, I'll have to, I may have to build it taller than it currently is, but we'll see. Hopefully I don't have to adjust any of the walls to uh, to match. I should have been thinking about that when I was building it in the first place. I've, I often do that. I'll, I'll build a house with the intention of like, you know, putting windows in it, but then they won't be, they won't be the same size because I miscalculated how big the uh, house should be or how far apart the walls should go. So, <clears throat> I think this is okay. There. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, so let's fit something on this wall, maybe. How about here? Hmm. Need some more glass, which has been smelting while we've been uh, working. Okay, <clears throat> should definitely be enough now. Um, yeah, as for a second level, we'll figure that out once we get the building a bit more uh, a bit more sorted out. But um, hmm. maybe we'll move the door over by one. We can sort of have like a glass opening up above it. There. Yeah, I think that looks good. And of course, we won't need any glass in here because obviously there's just a hill. All right, so uh, what I think I'll do now is I think I'll actually get started on the roof. So let's just skip ahead until we're uh, we're up there. Okay, so <clears throat> the general idea with the roof is that the uh, the larger section will have a roof going, you know, uh, in the direction of the uh, the mansion, and this one will have a roof going towards that roof, uh, intersecting with it. So first things first, we'll have to get some uh, figure out how I want to do this now. I think I want to have it overhanging by two, right, like that. I want to make sure that it reaches out over the edge of the house. Usually a roof has some sort of overhang in real life, so I want to try and mimic that here. Get rid of these blocks. Um, I'll have to fiddle with the frame of the house as well a little bit, you know, to make it go all the way up to the roof, but I need, need to at least get the roof started. So let's try that on this side here. And I realize that it's going to go into the hill to some degree, but I'm going to, I'll, I'll carve the hill around that if it doesn't look natural enough. Okay, so what I often do is um, I will either do a stair and then a slab, or in this case, I'm going to actually just do stairs and stairs underneath. Um, oops. So uh, let me know in the comment section if you think this looks good after it's all done. But and, and it does does tend to use up quite a bit of um, quite a bit of stairs and uh, wood to make it. But I think it looks quite good in the end. The other thing too is that like I could also just use the stairs on the outside that's visible. But on the inside, I'm gonna I'm intending to use the the upstairs as an attic. So I want the roof to still look realistic from there as well. I have to go craft up some more uh, some more stairs here. Anyways, I'll uh, plug away at this, and I'll come back when I've got some more progress. All right. Well, here we have our wonderful jungle house. I'm very happy with it. And uh, let's have a little look at it, okay? But first, let's sleep. There we go. 
so yeah um uh so it's got the big main roof over here and then this smaller section going out towards the back where the hill is which i'm intending to carve out at some point um i have to fix the roof up there a little bit but you get the idea uh these two little viewing windows here i might put something interesting in these sections and then, uh, yes, obviously this is the second floor. So let's go downstairs and have a look and see what that looks like down here. Slightly better smelting area. Uh, and there's our neighbors. Ooh, got a pest problem. Anyway, so that's that. Um, and then over here we have our chant, sorry, enchanting setup um, with the appropriate number of bookshelves to allow level 30 enchantments. Trusty old anvil. Here's some of the things I've been uh, attempting to enchant as well. And yeah, also, uh, here's my tunnel going down to way down there and my bubble comb coming back up. So uh, apparently there is a wonderful lush cavern underneath this whole area and I was able to find a spore blossom there. So yeah, anyways, it's a, it's a really good start to a base and uh, very happy about it. Now let's have a look at it from the outside. Okay, well, I think that's looking pretty skookum. Uh, which is Canadian for awesome. Yeah. Uh, okay, still not sure where I'm going to stick that fireplace. I might have to remodel this side of it if I wanted to have it on this side and close the window or whatnot. But but anyways, um, there we have it. I am actually very happy with this. So let's have a look from another angle over here. So this will be a fun base. It's close to the jungle, like I said. And there's also a uh, Acacia Village... There's actually multiple villages pretty close to here, but uh, yeah, I think it's a good place to be. And of course the Woodland Mansion, which will probably uh, take some sugar and some uh, cake over in a little while. But anyways, let's have a look from over here. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, oh, got to fix those. Um, hmm. So anyways, the uh, I need to try and figure out where to go from here because like i've been looking for a desert but i can't seem to find one anywhere and it's starting to tick me off so hopefully we can locate a desert somewhat soon i'd like to have some green cactus uh for colors but and something else i think i'll maybe do here while i'm thinking about it is i will try and mix up the uh the roof Ooh. oh let's see if we can find another one of these guys here Any luck? Nope. Um, I did manage to get a trident at some point uh, fighting one of these guys, but it was a while ago and I don't remember where I put it. So <laughs> it might actually be back at the original base. But for the moment, let's just make our way up here a little bit. I was thinking of trying out uh, oak to see if oak would mix with the uh, the roof. So... Once again, just experimenting here. I am by no means an expert when it comes to texturing things, but I do believe it looks nice when you're able to mix something in with what's already there. So let's put this in my offhand. Might not be good enough of a, whoops, sorry. Might not be enough of a difference or it might look okay. Let's give it a try and we'll see. Like I say, always just experiment and don't be afraid to play with you know, different colors and combinations and patterns and whatnot. It's a learning experience for everybody. All right, so some uh, modifications later, I finally have the, what I feel is probably the completed version of the outside of the house. So uh, bedroom's way up in the attic here. And down here, I had to move things around a little bit. So as you can see, there's now a chimney going up for the fireplace downstairs. And I had to move the stairs over to this side as well. These little outcropping parts um, had to be spread out a little bit further to make room for the stairs. So anyways, really happy with how it looks now. And uh, it's just time to start decorating it. So there's a cozy fireplace right here. And uh, cozy makes me remember, uh, you know, neighbors. Anyways, we should go and uh, have a look at our neighbors. But as you can see, there's a setup enchanting area, a spot for a little horsey, a way all the way down to the mining level and a way all the way back up. So. Not too, too many things different, but uh, yeah, made a, little, made a little journey down there. 
and uh, yeah so anyways let's go have a look at our neighbors not too sure about them but we'll uh, see what they're like all right here we go let's go say hi I sure hope they're friendly now there's gonna be a door somewhere huh I hear zombies those aren't friendly I bet an enderman left that there. Uh, hmm. Where is the front door? Boy, that's a lot of cobblestone. Go away. Go away. Go away. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, here we go. Uh, how weird. Front door that goes into the ocean. Hello, sir. What? <coughs> well, that was not friendly. Uh, I think I'm going to have a stern discussion with the members of this household. Oh, I hear stuff, but I don't see stuff. Uh, let's look around here. Oh. This room looks cool. Storage room. Doesn't seem to have much in it though. Okay. <clears throat> Let's check out some more of the first floor. Oh, nice. Indoor garden. Very good. Mm, how about here? There's all kinds of sounds in here. Ooh, hello. Let's see what else is up there. Oh my. Huh. Ouch. Okay, let's have a look at here now. Yes. Okay, that's awesome. Hey there, little guy. with those people. Okay. See, this is what happens when you leave the door open. Anybody can walk in. Wow, it's a nice library up here. Couple nice benches. I'm starting to think this place is haunted. Oh, let's get away. Oh man, these things never end. They're everywhere. They are definitely not the most friendly. Um, yeah, our neighbors don't really seem to be home, but there definitely seems to be a lot of squatters and vagrants in here. So, anyways, um, I'll clean those up and <laughs> see if we can survive that. You better get out of here. Jeez. Okay, so, anyways, <clears throat> a few things have happened since that uh, last video clip there. I uh, managed to bring home a friend. 
here. His name is Casper. And uh, anyways, I just thought I'd uh, show you a little bit more of the mansion now that it's cleared out. Uh, let's just say it was a little bit uh, not fun to do that, but it was uh, done successfully, so I'm pretty happy about it. So what we'll do is we'll just sort of hop over there. There's my chimney, by the way. Um, anyways, so we'll hop over there and have a look. Now, the mansion, I feel like I've explored all of it. Uh, I don't think there's any parts that I particularly missed, so I've kind of dug through the walls and whatnot to see to make sure there is. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I kind of feel like it would be a really nice sort of housing for some kind of farms uh, of some sort. But anyways, uh, I've explored all of the levels. There's like basically three floors, I think. Um, and yeah, they were none of them were fun. <laughs> There's uh, so so many things attacking you at the same time, and those jeepers, those vexes, they chased me all the way out into the water, and I had a really fun time with them. But anyways, as you can see, I've got some uh, fellows trapped here. I'm probably gonna take these uh, gentlemen and rename them Johnny, and uh, use them in a farm in some way because when they're named Johnny, they become super aggressive to everything. So. Maybe an iron farm, or be, I, I'm not sure exactly what farm I want to do, but uh, yeah, they'll do. And there's lots of room in this in this area for uh, further enhancements, I would definitely say. So yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, let's just take a little quick tour down through the house. Now I have collected some of the resources that are in this place already, um, but some I have not. So for instance, I've got a sheep ton of bookshelves back at my base that I collected from the library room that we saw before. I'm going to collect more. You never have too many bookshelves. Um, first of all, even if I don't use them as bookshelves for enchanting, they're great decorations. But also, each bookshelf is uh, three books, which means I can take them and I can trade them to a, uh, a villager in many situations. So, oh, more books here. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, the Woodland Mansion. Uh, <laughs> This is uh, the second or third time, third time I guess, I've been in a Woodland Mansion and done it, but uh, the last time it was it was in a joint game with myself and my three kids, and uh, they're all like late teenagers to early 20s, but uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the night that they chose to take on a Woodland Mansion, it was really late, and everybody was overtired, and there was an extraordinary number of deaths that occurred that night, so <laughs> I'm very proud to say that, there's my cake. Uh, very proud to say that uh, I had zero deaths this time. I was actually really impressed with myself. So it can be done. Uh, just be careful and make sure to run away when the vexes are coming too close to you and uh, keep healing up. Now, back here is another entrance to the uh, mansion, which obviously I went out on. The way this mansion generated seems a little bit weird to me, but um, it it's cool. <laughs> it's kind of dug into the hillside, which is sort of what I'm doing with my own house up above, right? So, <clears throat> anyways, uh, with regards to the house, though, I think I'm going to take a shovel and I'm going to go to town around the edge of the house and sort of dig a curve into the hill. Um, I'm going to probably want to make it so that the curve is, like, well, it's going to look natural, but I have an idea of how I want it to look. So, let's get back there and I'll uh, get started on that. I do like how my house looks in the background there, up on the hill. I'm trying to figure out what else I want to build around here. I mean, back at the starter base, uh, across the water, there's a really nice hill that I think I could build some sort of castle or keep on there. But for this, uh, my woodland house beside the woodland mansion, um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do next. So I'd be happy to have any uh, any suggestions in the comment section if you feel like it. Oop, Hubert. Forgot that guy was there. Um, I'm going to do something with that guy later. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I should probably make a better way up to the house. I might actually intentionally put a bunch of vines on the hillside here just so I can climb my way up easily. Um, but yeah. Anyways, so I think I'll call it here for the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.